resistors. Here I have a pile of parts I can use. I'm going to pick out this robot here and use that as the main body. Now for the monsters, what you have to do is pick out feet, arms, and the head. I'm going to use these SpongeBob slippers for feet. So let me just slip them on here. All right, I got one of them on, but it was hard, and I'm not going to try to get the other one on. I'm going to use something else. I think I'll use this shoe. See if I can get that on any better. Alright, that really doesn't want to go on there, so I'm just going to leave it like this. It's good enough. And I'm going to start working on the arms. For one of the arms, I can use this slinky. So now I'm just going to put that on there. There we go. Nice slinky arm. In that thing. And for the other arm, I'm going to use this, this ball thing. It can kind of swing around, maybe, I don't know. Now I just need to do something for the head. Now I think for my monster's head, I'm going to use this thingy right here. You usually put it on your head, it's like a rubber wig thing. I'm going to put it on my monster's head. Jeez, this doesn't want to go on there. Get on, stupid thing. Alright. There's my monster. Um, I'm gonna make some more monsters, just take photos of them, so you guys can see them. There, there he is. Uh, why don't you make some monsters or something and send me video response or just a photo, something, I don't know. Just let me see if you make a monster, okay? Here's another monster I made. Um, it's an alligator. It has uh, shoes and slippers and a slinky tail. Yeah, there's a slinky tail. I got like a turtle shell and stuff. Yeah, alright. That's it.